Enter. Ah, yes, hmm. And what is your name? Little Woozy, your grimness, sir. Ah, yes, how long have you been in our employ? Eight and a half years, your judgeship. What do you have to say about this charge of being drunk, leaving the oven on and endangering everybody's lives? The witness statement says, Little Woozy was overexcited. Her eyes were glazed, and her speech was slurred. Pretty conclusive, don't you think? You were obviously drunk. Good witness, that grooch. If it please your grimship, did you say that that clever witness was grooch, sir? Indeed I did. What of it, girl? Well, oh, your highness, it's just that, well, if, if it was grooch who saw me like that, all glazed and slurring, well, wouldn't he have had to suspend me on the spot and send me home in disgrace, like it says in Chapter 8, Section C of Baron Denby's Rules for the Management of Minions? After all, your greatness, Crooch is the uh, 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 butler. Hmm, interesting point that you make there, Woozy, my girl. I will have to consult with Mrs. Grimm about this. She always has the right answer. You may go now, girl. Run along. Next morning. Breakfast, Shea Grimm. Well, my dear, you've had time to look at the paperwork of Little Woozy's case. What do you think? Oh, Judgy darling, it's obvious that false witness has been given against poor Little Woozy. I would also say that the charge sheet has been written in a deliberately obfuscatory manner. Glad you said that, my dear. I couldn't make head or tail of it myself. Oh, your brain was giving out on me. Couldn't see how an incident could possibly happen on two evenings. I thought it was just Grouchy's usual incompetence. I know what you mean, dear. Wonder why Grouch would do something as risky as giving false witness. I mean, he could be dismissed instantly. And if it was someone more important than Little Woozy, why... The Baron could have his head. I think it must be an illness, my dear. I know little Woozy can be rather irritating. and doesn't always know her place. But even so, totally disproportionate reaction. Wasted a lot of my time. Made me look foolish into the bargain. If Grouch wasn't so useful, I'd sack him. Maybe a week in the stocks. Good idea, my sweet. But what shall you do about Woozy? What do you mean, do? What is there to do, apart from ignore the wretch? She's just grateful to have a job still. Well, actually, darling... No, no! I have a lot on at the moment. I can't deal with any more. Oh, there, sweetie. Remember your blood pressure. Just stay calm and listen to me. Actually, you decided to downsize Woozy last week in your efficiency drive. Also, whilst looking through the Woozy file... I found a glaring error back in 1011. What seems to have happened is that that novice Judge Simo got things wrong, and you put your seal to it. We were at Chester Races that day. Oh, what can I do to make things right? As Woozy will be gone, and is not likely to cause trouble, you don't need to do much at all. However, she has been a faithful drudge, and is a surprisingly good cook. Mmm, yes, she makes excellent biscuits. And that rice pudding. So, I suggest that you write her a nice letter of praise and give her a flagon of that wine we bought in Gaul last month. Oh, do I have to? She can't even read. And not my Beaujolais. It doesn't matter. 
As long as it has your seal on the parchment, Woozy will be impressed and will be able to use it to get another job. No, not the Beaujolais. I like that. I think the Sancerre would be more appropriate. Oh, all right. Pass the parchment and I'll seal it. Then Grooch can write it. No, darling. This whole business has been due to Grooch. I shall write this myself and get one of the monks to illuminate the first letter. Woozy will treasure it. This way we can be sure that nobody rocks the boat whilst Baron Denby is deciding who is to be judge of Denby and Rill. I do so want to buy that vineyard next door to our estate in Gaul. Oh, you are so wise, my dear. Cut to the hovel, where little Woozy lives with her aged mother. Oh, love, come here and have a cuddle. It's not right what them uppers have done to you. Thanks, Mum. Remember that important meeting the judge had last week with the mulled wine? Well, I spat in it. And I got the dog to lick all the biscuits before I put them out. Oh, gross, you didn't, woozy! Judge's favourite. And Grooch had some. Pleasure to watch them. They like my cooking. Finis.